Hello, thanks for coming back to the channel. So it's horror month, we're in October now. Now the obligatory YouTuber stance is play a horror game. I've thought about it. Do I go back to Fatal Frame? No. Do I go do Silent Hill 4? No, because I actually would like to sleep and I have enough trouble sleeping as it is. And then I came across this, this is Evil West. Now Evil West is basically Red Dead Redemption meets Dust and Dawn. If Castlevania kind of had a threesome. So, I'm going to basically just start a new game with it, and I just kind of want to get through the story, so I'm going to kind of uh, put it on the story difficulty, so again, you know, I'm not a Souls-like player, I'm not here to basically just go and kill everything without being hit and roll around on the floor repeatedly. So here we go, question word, Jesse, or, oh. Standard, isn't it? Just like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Except it's, uh, cowboys. <laughs> and I must admit, it's been a long time since I played Red Dead Redemption, but I did really like Red Dead Redemption. So, to have that kind of cowboy game with vampires, I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty much, uh, well, it's like when you saw From Dusk Till Dawn. From Dusk Till Dawn looked like a standard kind of crime film, and then it descended into vampires. Although that was in the modern day, this is, of course, what, turn of the century, I guess. Yeah. I do think this is multiplayer as well, so I mean, if I had a friend, that'd be quite fun to play with. Yeah. Chester will be none too chatty with his gun sprayed all over a train carriage. I know how to shape an explosion, Edgar. The old Wild West trains are so cool. I mean, how's that for an intro? Yeah. Arrow's not gonna be happy about the bridge. Oh, Arrow could suck my dick. He's the Secretary of War, not the Secretary of Bridges. Yeah. Let's go have a look see. I go high. What's well, quite hard with depth perception riding a horse, but here we go, here we go. We play as Jesse. Oh god, I don't like, I don't like heights. This, this is giving me the heebie-jeebies. And that train is absolutely dying. I'm so glad there isn't like a balance mechanic here. I'm just pressing up on the analog stick, which is fine by me. So. Let's give it a try. Oh. Bit of Indiana Jones action. Money. So you need money for upgrades. Pretty standard. Flipping it. As something straight out of a Clyde Barker just appears. You can tell I was a Tekken player. So yeah, so Jesse's got the gauntlet that um, that can launch basically. So that's all good with me because I love a juggle combo. 
The combat in this, from what I've played, is really cool. Yeah, that's the... So when they glow, they're about to hit you, and my timing was just totally off there. But I've got a cool, some really cool attack. If you press and hold the right bumper, you literally just launch up in the air and jump up with them. Like that. You can, like, smash them into stuff. And you do have, like, a, a heal sort of mechanic. Money! Anything else? Because you do go around, like, punching stuff. Well, rephrase. I go around punching stuff. I think that's where you're meant to go next. Oh. Brilliant. We love a collectible, don't we? Don't know if you get anything good as a result of it, but there's probably something around the other side there which I just didn't collect because I accidentally climbed up the thing. That's the thing is, uh, it's not obvious where you're meant to go. Hero punch! Oh. So you can do a Roman Reigns Superman punch, like that. So yeah, you got the uppercut into the... Actually, can I do that into the... Oh, you little shit! I'm trying to do a freaking Tekken combo here, do you mind? <laughs> yeah, you can. It like purposely hurt me there, so I'd have to use the cooldown on the uh, heel, which is just the B button. That's bright. That is. Oh, I was telling you about the uppercut. I think they call that a cannonball or something. But I mean, that is incredibly satisfying. Oh! Look, I'm button mashing now. Look what you made me do, game. I like the way there's just random coffins strewn around because. Yeah. I've got to get across somehow. Take the money. Let's go. Oh, cannonball. Yeah, hold forward to uppercut and you smack him into environmental hazards. So we're just going to line him up here. Alley oop! <laughs> Next victim, please. I totally botched that. Missed. Didn't miss that one. Or that one. Hey, asshole. So, so satisfying. Like, ridiculously satisfying. And I haven't even unlocked the gun yet. Which will come. Because you can't have a cowboy without a gun. What, what, sort, what, sort, of ga what sort of cowboy game doesn't have a gun? Uh, a bad one, I, I don't know, one would assume. Oh, I've got the big bushes now. Okay. Now I tend to shoot these ones, but it hasn't unlocked the freaking gun yet. Because I meant to bonk. Finish him! Is there another one? Anyone else? Can't go in there. But yeah, that'll tell you. Yeah, they're like a Native American tribe that has a. Money. Looks like you could use a hand. That's right. Graven is going to try and shoot things, isn't he? Ha! 
Uh. Oh my god! Unlucky- oh fuck off! I dodged that. This is turning into Dynasty Warriors now. Dude, what? What am I waiting for? You just stood there, just and you shot one bullet. So shut up. Indiana Jones at a cross. It tells me how to sprint. Irony being already sprinting. I'm sure there's an achievement for picking up all the items. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Oh my god. I, w I will say, it's pretty darn cool. And you now let me have the pistol. And I've got a trigger finger on me when I want to. Finisher! Anybody else? Oh, sorry, he was glowing then. I thought he was gonna... Oh, for fuck's sake. These dudes are... Oh my god. Oh, sorry, did I interrupt your action then? Finish him. I mean, there's no style bonus in this game, but I think that was pretty stylish. Oh yeah, and you can break... Um, so I thought I saw something else to collect there. Look around for interactions. I just saw it there. It's usually when you're standing by one of these little glowing things. Well, wasn't that convenient? And here we go. Oh, hang on. Uppercut an enemy, then hold right trigger to keep them airborne. Okay, I can't quite reach this guy. Yes, I can. I didn't actually know that, the whole keep them airborne thing. But, I mean, as an opening, as, as the kind of the first level, this is a very, very, very ow, cool level. I mean, I said I have started this game, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do this as a as a YouTube video. I'm taking it because it's uh, it kind of fits in with the whole what everyone on YouTube does during Halloween, isn't it? So. I can smell you, chef, you lousy skunk. Gosh. Aha! Uh, come here. How convenient! There's a chain. Hell in your hands that climbing the chain, wouldn't it? Well, mind you, rope's not exactly particularly friendly, but. Mind if I join you? 
Well, it'd be nice if you actually did something, wouldn't it? Just keep the little critters off me. I've got the fucking Urukai here. Oh, hang on, there's a dynamite there. Just for the record, if something's usually big and lumbering, Ow! Oh, oh, so that's the juggle. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I, I, I quite like that. Because, as we're Tekken, when is something most vulnerable? When it's in the air. Not necessarily when your back's towards it. If you've got a Zhao Yu, they're not very vulnerable when your back's towards And that's big. That is large. That is very, very large. Something which you need to throw more dynamite at. Oh, he went for a double. And a triple. Alright, fucking Rhyperia over here. Finish him! I'll just uh, casually just remove his head. There we go. No friends here. Still on your father's leash, I see. <laughs> well, he gives him crap and then screams when he punches him. What's this? Catering? Why, I have no idea what you. That big shiny ball out there is no good for your sensitive skin. The sun's not to know what they'll do to me. Fun game. Let's test that theory. No, no, no Richard, yourself! Belmontville! The, the gathering's in Belmontville! Belmontville, as in choice, Chester. Gabriel Belmont. Helpful, we're gonna be needing a guide. <laughs> Consider it a promotion. Give a shit. Belmontville's a long way from the manor. We're on a clock here. We've been hunting Debano for three months. What's another few hours? <sighs> have it your way. But your father's gonna have your ass as an ashtray if we don't make that presentation. You're retired. What's he gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> <laughs> so that is the first. Oh, so that's the that's the first level. This is a uh, the raid. So for these videos, I'm gonna do them in two story line arc, in, in a two uh, mission arc. So I think it's 16, so that should be eight episodes. <clears throat> We're gonna be walking blind into a damn maze. And if our tick friend here is telling the truth, the is gonna be right in the middle of it. I don't think I'm in a position to lie to you. <laughs> That's the spirit, Chester. <laughs> Now you lift those fancy illusions, and who knows? Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. The glamour! <laughs> Even I have my limitations, Mr. Gravener. You want a limitation? How about walking around without a head? your qualifications for this job. Those ass licking lovers should be shot on sight. So a familiar is a human mm -hmm. under the thrall of a vampire. Right, here too. right, Jess? I'll make you a new waistcoat. I don't believe my tailor would like that. See? You're bonded already. Ah, eat me. 
That gathering won't find itself, you know? Move it. Front of you. Oh, shut up. I told you my sight's not recovered after the change. Hey, so you're telling me it's not the boobies? Headshot. I mean, that feels really kind of cowboy. -y. Oh yeah, it's supposed to do a weak spot, which is that. Jesus. Ooh. A ghost scarf? Ooh, that's pretty cool. So I can change my attire, can I? Yes, I can. Oh, no. Oh, it's there. Well, there we go. I never found that first time round. I mean, I've I've only done what three, four of these missions before. So I do know my way around this kind of initial one. But at later videos, I will be going, where am I going? And then I'll have to edit out the fact that I got lost. Which is legit nothing new for me in YouTube videos. Again, I didn't notice that. Didn't notice that first time round either. You could like, what well, you could like, shoot down bodies, which have been unceremoniously strung up. Oh, man! You can't quite get the upgrades yet until level three, so I'm just stockpiling my wealth for now. Hint, hint, TNT explodes. You don't say. Oh, that's the way I've got to go. Right, yep, because I recognise that. So this is more bonus stuff. If you like bonus stuff. There's also something very Indiana Jones about crossing a ravine with a whip, isn't there? That's where all hell's about to break loose! Hint, hint. There's some TNT by the... Hi! How you doing? I'm gonna hang your head on the wall. How can you see anything? You've got nothing over your face. Come on in. Next. That kind of finisher thing, it's just like the, the new Doom's like that, isn't it? That's got that kind of mechanic in it. Right, well. I do like the fact it's like, I don't have, it's not like I, could, I run out of ammo. I don't have to like, pick up 
stuff like because I'm missing ammo and stuff. Oh, that's how we get through. Is there anything around here? No. No, there isn't. I mean, you're supposed to check everywhere, but I'm just kind of bombing it through this kind of game. Smells of ticks. Gathering must be close by. I do like the way that tick is a derogatory term for a vampire. So, you may send that arachnophobia warning there. I've already turned it off because I don't like spiders. Don't give me near this grown man bullshit. I don't like spiders. It's just, it's, it's quite simply put, I, I, I don't like them. Never have done, and I never will do. They've got too many legs, and they move weird. No. Okay, it's meant to be down there where I go. I'm just gonna yeah, looks about right. check the rest of the cabin because I'm pretty sure there's pickups. This, see? If I just ran straight through that, I would have missed that. Ooh. And this is the room I was originally in. Ugh! If you didn't like spiders, I'm also now claustrophobic. Another thing I'm not particularly fond of. I mean, this is the mines of Moria. I'll bet my last dime to bottoms here somewhere. And you run into a vampire illusionary wall. Great. Hmm? You seeing this too? Take it off. Mr. Rentier. On a first date? What do you take me for? You're right. Maybe a little light is in the mood. No, no need. I see it now. Of course. Glamour. I'm on it. <laughs> this is just an Irish vampire. Hey, Chester. Please. <coughs> I need to concentrate. It's not that easy to sever the illusion from its source. What's the source? You don't want to know. Vampires never cut their fingernails. Is that like part of the vampire um, uniform? Could have unkempt, nasty nails. And I've also thought, if you've got nails that long, how the hell do you wipe your ass? Very carefully, the answer, I'd imagine. You know what? Let's switch. I'll take the explosives. You get the bottom. Is this about the bridge? It's not. Oh, you fecker. You will probably want to go into that TNT, I'd imagine. <laughs> Those big stupid elephant ones are starting to get on my tits now. Do I need any essence? No, I don't actually need any more essence. Essence, that was blood, wasn't it? That, that it was. Uh... Oh, I'll tell you what, that should. That should be a series I should do soon. The original Blood game. I love that game. Ooh, see? Off the beaten track, get your pickups. Always. Always get your pickups. Sorry, I thought I saw something else then. 
Well, I mean, let's take a moment to just kind of just take in the graphics. I mean, look at this. This, as a level design, is awesome. First time to get some perks. Uh, does any damage the corner or increases the cooldown of the healing spell? Oh, that's right. It doesn't let you do any other ones other than the first one it tells you. Oh, I thought we were done. I wouldn't have blown that TNT up if, if I'd known that. I love the way you just, well, I just, well, not just I, you can literally play this like Tekken. <laughs> this is Tekken Force, except you're Erin Black. I love that. Flying things. This has just became a carnival game now, isn't it? Which is fine by me. Weird flying gargoyle. They look like the sort of um was it? Is it harpies or gargoyles from Warhammer 40k? Yeah, I wanna get over there, don't I? We got here, we've got Look, there's another wheel. Was there nothing else to pick up? I just thought there would be. I'm not to pick up here. Like where the uh, it's like the temple I'm meeting place in. Come on, shoot! Oh, come on! It's good that I can't, like, fall off. These, those things, which pretty much teleport, they're just quite irritating. So you remove their face. Uh, right, onward. If you parkour, Take the finisher, fine.
Oh shit! There's another one. Right, you on the other hand. Take a lot of bullets. Fortunately, I can dodge. Yeah, we can always read that later. So Pisa de Bano is the is the uh, Nosferatu we are hunting here. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, what a shit time to reload. Oh, we need Dubano. Oh. Yeah, because that totally works if you've seen Lord of the Rings. I mean, this is a bit Lord of the Rings, isn't it? Dominic Calvert. I saw this the first time round. Dominic Calvert. I mean, not, not like Dominic Calvert Lewin of Everton. What's what's the chance you're gonna make a name which is? I mean, that's not a very common name, is it? But Peter Dubano just straight out the Salvador Dali lookalike factory. Humans have harnessed the power of speed and lightning, and they grow mighty. Our humor allows us to grow fat and lazy in the shadows. They will soon have the power to hunt us down like dogs. And so, propose war. War suggests there is a chance we might lose. I propose we strike with my new asset. We can control the change. Reclaim the Sanguisuja's rightful place at the top of the food chain. Control the change. Are you mad? Even suggesting such a thing is blasphemy. Dominic, brother, these are blasphemous times. While my methods may very well be at variance with our tradition. Tell you one thing. If we don't adapt, we will perish. Enough. Or I will not allow your master brain to lead us into annihilation. Peter Davala, for the high crime of conspiracy against your own kind, I sentence you and your line to the true death. Felicity is creepy as hell, by the way. We had to try, Felicity Mikada. Our work will be a lot easier if we can help them understand. If we can't... For step two! When the Vampire High Council pretty much sentenced him to death, I don't see the point of having to fight him. I mean, the high bombs are look really cool looking bosses. I'm not stupid enough to stand. 
stand still. like um, all the bosses in uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Just backpedal and fire your weapon until you can get an opening. Oops, that was stupid. I went into rush down at the wrong time. doing it. I just keep seeing that opening which probably isn't there. Yikes! Ugh! Fuck's sake. I thought I'd press the dodge button in time then. Apparently not. Finish him! I like sticking a gun in someone's face and pulling the damn trigger. Well, that was fun. Think you could have brought a bigger knife? Some people get a gold watch when they retire. I got Susan here. And you got his knife, Susan. Do we need to have a POV beheading, though? Is that really necessary? Chester. Well, what are you gonna do? Now that is how you shape an explosion. <laughs> Poor old Chester. Damn, a bit late. Now at least we won't be going back to the manor empty-handed. Yeah, we just we just got Salvador Dali's head. Um, I'm thinking about dropping this. At, well, starting the new series in the Halloween month. We're going to continue this through until I finish it. It should be about eight episodes. But what do you guys think of it? I think it's quite good. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Granted, um, I'm playing it on the story difficulty, so it is not the hardest. Because I did find the combat quite challenging when I played on my normal playthrough which I, you know, halfway caught up to where I was on that. But I'll be going through this just to get hold of the storyline, just to see what happens in it, because this does look like a really, really good game, and I'm, I've really, really enjoyed it thus far. So I thought, you know what? Perfect thing to make a series of, because I was humming and hawing what to make a series of, and this kind of just fell into place rather nicely. So I'm going to leave this here and say, if you have come this far, thank you very much for choosing to spend your time with me. If you like this video, please drop a little like. Pass subscribe to the channel if you're new. So that's the first part of Evil West that we blow up a train and then we beheaded a highborn. So where do we go from here? Well, I think we're going back to the manor to see the rest of the Rentier Institute. So that'll be, cool. that'll be in the next episode, probably in a couple of weeks. But until then, thanks again for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.